Wellness Advanced Program, Body Weight Conditioning Exercises for Joint Strength. In the Advanced Program, as we discussed, we've moved from recovery to coordination to refinement. When you're working through these exercises, I advise you that you should have taken considerable time and effort to go through the beginner and the intermediate programs. Why? Because the movements are based upon each other. You recover a range of motion, you coordinate it, and then you refine it. There's a specific process at work. This is important for understanding this Dairobia health system. Warrior wellness is an example of how to move from recovery to coordination to refinement. So, if you haven't been working on the beginner and intermediate program, don't think you're going to jump into this. Take your time, go back, work on them, and they will develop into the advanced program and beyond. We begin again with the head and work our way back to the earth. So, first range of motion we're going to coordinate is a boxer's juke. We're going to move to one side, slip down, and stop at the other. We're going to move back and forth. As you refine this movement, it should be softer and softer, and you should feel your coordination and join with your shoulders in the range of motion. Now, if you're moving down in front, I want you to continue this circle for 10, all the way up, around in a circle. One direction, other direction, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. We're going to take a figure eight from our tilt and our twist in the beginner's program that you should have been working on. And we're going to carry through the range of motion. Work this slowly so that you can feel the full range and the muscles relaxing as you go through and expand the range of motion, coordinate with the rest of your cervical vertebra, switch directions, and then refine so that this is a very tight figure eight. Eight, nine, and ten. From the neck down to the shoulders. When we refine this, we're going to bring those six degrees of freedom into three figure eights with both arms. Back and forth. We're going to do this for ten. At six, seven, let each one carry up so that you're not cheating on any range of motion. Refine this so that you can feel where the sweet spot is through a range of motion. Switch directions. Back and forth. It should be coordinated with the rest of your body. Reach and extend the joint capsule each time. We're at six and seven. Each time reaching further and further, and that's ten. So we had inside outside. We're going to do top bottom with both arms. The hips really have to move out of the way in order to bring both arms into play. We're going to do ten in one direction and in the other. That's nine and ten. Switch directions. Bottom top. Breathe out. Compress. Exhale. Expand, inhale. And ten. Now, right, left, top, bottom, front, back. Two opposite directions. Carry through. We're going to do ten in this and ten in the opposite. So we're at seven, eight, nine. Now, when you switch directions, Coordinate both together, so both are carrying through. Compress and exhale, compress and exhale. Each time, refining the movement, and ten. When we move from the shoulders down to the elbows, we're going to carry through with the same double arm figure eights, but now just with the elbows. Very small range of motion, very tight but loose. Eight, nine, and ten. Now switch directions. Let your body carry you through. We're going to do ten in each direction. Eight, nine. This is right, left. Now top, bottom. Up and down. Back and forth, just with the elbows. Refine the motion so it's nice and tight. If you're having problems with this, 
grab a hold of a piece of cloth, a belt. That'll help you carry through both ranges. So we're going to do 10 in both directions. Tight and relaxed. Right left, top bottom, front back. Just with the elbows. Working both arms, we're going to do 10 in both directions. So we have 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10 in switch directions. Make sure that you're coordinating the motion so that you have a, a very refined ability to carry through. 8, and 9, and 10. So we carry through the three figure eights with the elbows. We're going to move down to the wrists. Shoulders, elbows, wrists. With these, what I want you to do, start with the up and down figure eights. We're going to go in opposite directions with both wrists. We're going to carry that through for five and switch directions for five. Now it's very simple to switch to a horizontal plane with both figure eights. Switch directions. Four and five. Now, as we move on, when we come down to the fingers, what we're going to do is, as before, wave all of them together. We have five here. We're going to wave with the opposite hand. Coordinate all of your fingers together so that this is one refined motion. Then switch directions and wave in the opposite direction. Now, obviously, you have to work from recovery to coordination so that you can refine all of your motion together in both hands, through all fingers. I'm going to do that again, but now with both hands towards each other for five and away from each other for five. If you keep on expanding the range of motion, you're going to recruit the wrist into the motion. So we're going to do that intentionally to, remember, move around, add in the hand wave with the wrist for five. For five, switch directions, screwing underneath. And you can see where this is leading to recruit into the elbow. I'm going to do this for five. I'm going to switch. And we're going to add in the elbows. Screwing in, moving around the elbow to carry through a coordinated, refined motion. Switch the other direction, the other arm, for five. Now, waving out with the elbow, all the way, elbow, wrist, fingers, each time, elbow moves around to let the hand carry out. Switch to the other arm, waving out. Now you can see. Recruit the shoulder. Shoulder throws out to wave. Shoulder throws out to wave. Each time, back and forth, let your breathing be natural. You'll feel your lungs being compressed from one, from the right lung to the left lung. We're going to take this exercise and we're going to throw it to the side. So your body's moving to the side, one arm to the next, one arm to the next. If you coordinate all of your joints together, this fluidity is going to relax your entire body so that in the morning, this is 8, this is 9, this is 10, switch the other direction. When you're working on a full bodily coordination exercise, you're going to have more energy at the end of it rather than less. This is the difference between a fitness program and a joint strength conditioning program. We're at 8, we're at 9, we're at 10, but that's only one. The other wave is down. As we will recruit into the shoulders, we have hands, wrists, fingers, elbows, and shoulders. Back and forth, down for five. Now we're going to add coming out to the side. Make sure you're dropping your shoulder over like we did with the screwing arms drill in the intermediate. All the way over. And now in front, three, four, five. That should have loosened up your arms. Let's move on to the chest. We have the side-side plane. Back, side-side. So we have a circle in front, circle behind. 
circle in front, circle behind, coordinating all of your spine together in a complex range of motion as you come out, as you come back. So we're at seven, eight, nine, and ten. Other direction. Back. It's five, and I really, as you work on this, you should be able to feel when your body needs to breathe rather than forcing your body to breathe, which is the crooks and cornerstone of this that of your health system. And ten. From the chest, we're going to move down to the spine. We had three figure eights that we have to cover now because we had six degrees of freedom on the spine. The first is the front back. We'll do it in this view. Front circle. Back circle. Remember, you've been doing this for a while, so you know how slowly to go so that you don't injure anything. It's joint strength, not fitness, so you don't have to fire through it. I can dribble in a cage. I'll fix. We're going to do this for five in both directions. Four. And five in switch directions. Now, while you're doing this, you can't see me. I can't see you because I'm doing it too. So, relax. Four. And back. And five. That's one figure eight. The second figure eight, remember, we started going in the circle first. So, front, rotate to the side, and front again, rotate to the other side. That's one. Two, carry through slowly. Think, where can my body relax so that the muscles can allow the range of motion? To carry. Flexibility is based upon your tissue's comfort level. As your muscles coordinate, your joints can recruit. Four. Last one. And you'll have more efficiency in your movement. Five. We went forward. Now we're going to go backward. This is where you have to be careful because if you add torque to this, you might carry off balance. So go slowly. Backwards first. Rotate to the side. When you're in the middle, come back up again. Rotate to the other side. If you have back problems, two, you have to go slowly. If you want to prevent back problems, you have to go daily. Each time, three, Four, remember, if you don't move it, you lose it. Last one. Okay. I want you to stay down here with me. We're bent over already. You remember our simple hourglass on the spine, right? I'll stand back. We moved here. Now come back down with me. We're here. We're going to roll behind and let our pelvis carry out in front of us. But we're not going to stay up. We're going to continue down. So this complex hourglass will cover the full range of motion and articulation of your spine. And you do this five times, you're going to feel a shotgun going off in your spine as it relaxes. And the air is returned in between your vertebra. Don't be concerned. It's as natural as any one of your joints popping. Now, switch directions. We're going to go five again. We're at three. And that's four. And that's five. Come back up slowly. If you get up too fast, you might get dizzy. If you do, put your butt to the ground because you're going there anyway. Relax. Now, moving from the spine down to the hips, 
We're going to do a tighter version of that figure eight that we did in the intermediate program. Now that you're refining the coordination you've regained to the side tilt, funnel tilt, to the side tilt, center, to the side, back, to the side, center. And you're going to do that five times in each direction. This is three, four, and five. We're going to switch directions. If you're uncomfortable with the range of motion, hey, your health depends on it. Don't move it, you lose it. As Ben Brackwell told us in the health system, that's three. If you, know, if you don't have a problem area attended, you'll have an injury. So, we've covered the hips. We're going to move so that we have a different figure eight, right, left. One circle to the next. One circle to the next. Make this tight so you're articulating and refining the motion so every movement is calculated. That's what's going to give you functional balance and an appreciation for what's happening in your joints. Switch the opposite direction. Really reach so that you can feel where the end of the range of motion is and carry through coordinated, graceful, and relax. Good. Hips are done. Now we can move on to the legs. From the legs, we're going to do a series of figure eights. Get your firm footing. The first figure eight is going to be front back. I'll turn to the side. Start with one leg. Use your whole leg to carry through like we did in the intermediate program with your knee. Now recruit your entire leg. We're going to go five in one direction, five in the opposite direction. That's three, four, five. If you're having problems keeping up, there's always tomorrow. Switch now to right, left. Right, left. Right, left. Three, four, and five. Switch directions. Left, right. When you're coming through, you have to relax so your whole body can recruit through the motion. We have four. And five, oh, but we're not done. We're going to raise the leg up now, and it's going to be pointed toward you. Three, four, and five. Switch directions. Three, four, and five. Still not done. Out to the side. One, two, three, four, and five. And switch directions. Relax your body so that you can carry through the range of motion coordinated. Still not done. All the way out behind you. Three, four, and five. Switch directions. Two, three, four, and five. Yes, you can put the leg down now. We'll switch to the other leg. We began with front back. So, two, three, four, and five. Now switch directions. One, two, three, four, and five. Right, left. Back and forth. For five. Switch directions. Let your whole body coordinate. Three, four, and five. You're not done yet. Bring your leg up. One, two, three, four, and five. Switch directions. Relax your body. Bend your knee. Four and five to the side. Each time. Relax your body so it can carry through the range. Four and five. Switch directions. Let your knee lead. Use your hands to counterbalance. Five. Behind. All the way out. Three. Four. And five. Switch direction, so you're coming in. Three, four, and five. Finally. Finally, we're done. So, we've covered every joint in the body, so we're going to bring it all together in one full bodily movement. Back to the four corner balance drill. I'm going to make you go a little bit harder today. When you grab a hold in this program into the ground, I want you to counterbalance. Grab your own heel. Put your arm backwards as if on a trapeze. 
So you balance in both directions. You're going to hold that for 10. Push your toes out. Lock your knee down. As you come in, inside grab your heel. Put your hand out at the back corner. Push your knee down. You're going to hold that for 10. Pull your toes back towards your shin. Relax. Bend your knee. Turn it to the inside. Bring your arm back out in front. Point your toes. Push against your own hand. Hold that for 10. Bring it back in. Relax down. Underhook your heel again. Come back out in front. Lock your knee out. Push your toes out. Come back out in front. Grab your other hand to your foot. Underhook your leg. Bring it up to your head. As far as you can. Relax. Put your foot down. On the leg. We'll start from the side view. Get your footing. Underhook your heel. Put your arm in the opposite direction of your leg. Push your knee down. Point your toes. Relax. Hold it for 10. Come back in. Underhook your heel. Hand to the outside. Push your knee down. Pull your toes back. Come back in. Bend your knee. Rotate over. Push against your hand. Hold it for 10. Back in. Relax down. Underhook your heel. Push back out. Point your toes. Lock out your knee. Back in. Grab with the other hand. Underhook. Bring it up towards your head. And relax. Put your foot down. Good job. We've covered our whole body. So we're going to end with a breathing exercise. We did lifts in the beginning. We did circles in the intermediate. We're going to do figure eights in the advanced. So as you come in, big inhalation. This is the way you start. Each morning, point your way towards the sun. Draw it in. This is the way you want each day to begin. Loose, prepared, invigorated, relaxed.